Okay, so today we're going to be working with CSV. So I have the CSV file here. It has a year, a maker, a model, and a length. And I have two cars in here. And we're going to be taking this CSV file and converting it into a JavaScript array, modifying a value, and then saving out this value to the file again. So the first thing we need to do is that we have to import a few dependencies. I'm going to be importing CSV to JSON and JSON to CSV. One is going to read the file and the other is going to write the file. Next up, we need an instantly instantiated function or just any asynchronous function because we're going to be working with asynchronous code. The first thing we need to do is to actually load these cars. So we're going to be using CSV to JSON to load it. So we're going to take this CSV. This is a function. So we'll call that and we'll say from file cars.csv, which is the file cars.csv that will actually be converted into a JavaScript array. But let's just quickly see those. So if we run it, you can see that we actually get the year, the maker, and the model in the link as an array. So if you don't need to modify the CSV, well, we're done here. Okay, so let's modify the value. So I'm just going to select the first car, select the year, and change it. But of course, this is not going to change the value because we actually need to save this change. So that is what we're doing here. We're using the JSON to CSV. So the first thing you have to is that you have to input an object and then that object has to have a property called fields. And then you have to pass in the fields. Now I have added them statically, but obviously you could also build some kind of mechanism to load them in dynamically. But it's just these fields. You can just copy paste this first uh, line here and paste it in here. Then I do dot pass with the cars. So this array down here. And then that will be converted into a CSV file, which we'll then use FS synchronous. And then we'll just write to the same name. So cars.csv, this CSV file. And then we'll just write this cars CSV file into there. Okay, so if we just run this, you can see that the value didn't change here. That is because we showed it up here and changed it down here. But if we go into the CSV file, you can actually see that the value did change. And if we load this again, then you can actually see the value has changed. So that was it. Working with CSV in JavaScript is really simple. So I hope you liked this example. I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.